It's so important to check your colonies every morning. No, I'm not saying you have to open your colonies. All you got to do is just walk by your hives to look at your colonies. This is a sad moment for me. This is the queen that I saved back in 2018 from being bald by a foliage Russian bee's offspring. And I was hoping she'd make it two years. I was hoping to breed off her this summer. But I walked by and I see a cluster. I've already picked her up. I saved her. I saw a little cluster of bees there. They, they usually take their queen out when she's dead. And sometimes they'll drop her out in the ground right in front of the hives. I've seen many queens on the concrete here. That's why it's nice to have a, an area in front of your hives where you can check to see what's been dropped. Well, anyway, she was right here. There was like five or six bees right here, and I knew exactly what was going on when I saw that. So, 12 is done. There's no more 12. What I'm going to do, because 12 is a large colony, I, I number my hives. I go to my next smallest. I check and see. You know, I went through and I checked this one here. And now... What I'm going to do, these two colonies are side by side. And I've been bringing these in at night when it gets below freezing. I'm going to cage both queens, mark the cage so I know which queen is which. Combine these two together, and they will get one queen, depending on 70 or 65, and then one of the queens will go back to 12. You know, if it had been a month from now, early May, I'd say, yeah, go ahead and do queen cells. But I don't have drones, so I, I'm down to 52 colonies. That's the way it is. It hurts to lose a colony, but you, you get over it. I've been doing this for so many years. You get over it, and you move on. In another four weeks, I'm going to be doing splits, and I'll be getting all excited about creating more colonies. You know, I could take queens out of here, but i just as soon take them there. That's why it's important to keep nukes. If I didn't have nukes, I'd have to combine two hives together. Which isn't really a bad thing, but I'd just as soon take my smaller colonies and use those queens to get them all going. As soon as it warms up a little bit, I can separate these, spread these out a little bit. Okay, thank you.